What up, guys? Uh, Hydra here today. Okay, you know what? I can't do it. I so I promised you boys uh, a best list. I hate it. I hate it already. Um, so I'm getting straight into it. Uh, you boys been asking for a best list for PvP. So we've sat on stream and uh, we've kind of talked through the options and what, what we think is good, what we think is bad, what we think we need just generally in world PvP in phase one right now. Um, so this is going to be a pre-raid best list. So nothing on here will be from Molten Core or Nixia. I'll do another one for post-raid stuff and uh, that will have some upgrades and stuff on it which will be juicy as well. And we'll talk about that at a later date. But for now we've got the pre-raid stuff which is all from dungeons. Uh, some stuff from quests. Uh, so first of all we've got the Dreadmiss Mask. And we had a couple of options here. Uh, thought about Postmasters. Thought about potentially like Magister's Devout. Settled on Dreadmist in the end. It's just got more Stam on. Um, we've, we've rated Stam quite highly. Um, main things we're looking for. High Stam, high Int. Uh, if an item's got both of those and then has healing on as well. Uh, then we, we valued that quite highly. Or like spell damage, anything like that. Uh, MP5 as well, I think. Um, so yeah, we ended up on Dread Mist Mask. There was a couple of other options, but we decided on this because we can then go for the Dread Mist Gloves as well and pick up the two set, which is fairly solid. Uh, then second of all, we got Star of Mysteria. Sorry, Star of Mysteria. It's scuffed. It's scuffed. Uh, we got this for the 1% hit. Uh, we got a couple of items of 1% hit. I think it's 4% cap. Uh, we went for the 1% hit uh, because it's quite rare on the pre-raid bis stuff. Uh, so we picked it up wherever possible uh, because dispelling is important as disc and we don't actually get hit talent for that. So it's important to, to make sure we're getting as much success rate on our dispels as possible. Uh, so next part is Necropile and we actually go for 4 port. 4 port? Dude, what's wrong with me today? It's getting late. 4 part Necropile and... We skip the five part because Alana's Embrace is too good. If you can get it. If you can get Necropile while you're waiting for Alana's, that's fine too. Um, but don't spend too much time farming for it. Spend your time farming from for Alana's. To be honest, they're from the same place anyway. They're all from Scholo, So expect to be doing a lot of Scholo runs. This is quite a low drop chance from Raz. Uh, but Necropile all drops from Scholo too. So you'll be able to pick that up on the way. Uh, then we got Royal Royal Tribunal Cloak. I believe that's from Emperor in BRD. Um, quote me if I'm wrong. Can't hundred percent remember. But yeah, this the, the cloaks were really poor in general from from what we saw. There was like one cloak with actual like damage and healing, and then the stam was really low on that. Uh, so we ended up just going for the Royal Tribunal for the solid stats. Got good int on it, and then uh, a decent bit of stamina. Uh, enchants are all standard, we'll talk about them later, but there's nothing too crazy going on there. Chest, as I said, Alana's, it's about 1-2% to 2 drop off Raz, so if you're really, really keen to get, you know, that Biss piece, it's Biss after, uh, Raid as well, I believe. Uh, if not, very equal to Biss, so I'd say this is a really good item that's gonna last you a while, at least until in into Phase 2. Um, so, it's worth farming. But don't lose your mind over it, you know. You can get a True Faith instead. You can get a five-piece Necropile instead. And it's only slightly worse. And then, again, Necropile Cuffs. Uh, we've had a couple of options with, you know, with Dread Mist and potentially Magister's Devout, that sort of stuff. But, you know, Devout is, is okay. Magister's sucked. Dread Mist was decent, but we aren't going for four-piece Dread Mist. And that pretty much just leaves Necropile, and all the Necropile pieces have a really good, really good balance of stam and, and int on them anyway. Uh, so then for weapon, we went for Guiding Stave of Wisdom, and we had kind of two options here. We either go for the main hand from uh, the Seven, which is down here. Actually, I forget what it's called actually. Hammer of Grace, and it, it's got nice healing on it, and this with the off hand actually equals the same amount of healing as the staff. But with the staff, you end up with five more stam and five less int. So in the nature of PvP, I've gone for the staff. You can also go, if you get if you get the Hammer of Grace and the offhand, which is uh, Royal Scepter, that's fine too. Uh, they're basically equivalent. Then the wand, you really only have one choice, which is the Storm Rager. That's from uh, the Nathanos quest 
in Eastern Plaguelands. You start that in Stormwind from the king. I forget his name. Some dude. Uh, and it, it, you do like a little quest chain and then you end up having to raid Nathan. Also, you can do it with like 15 people. And then he hands you this wand, which is best for a good while. Nice stam, nice in on it. But the thing I like about it is it's, it's good damage, but it's 1.3 speed. So you can micro really nicely with it. Uh, so we've got Dreadmist. Dude, where the fucking tooltip? There we go. It's saved, boys. Saved. We've got Dreadmist wraps. Uh, there's a couple of other options for gloves, but because these are relatively similar, we've gone for these because they also will give us 200 armor. Uh, Banthok sash. This one's a tough one to get. This from Arena in BRD. And it's another 1% hit item. And I believe there's only one other 1% hit belt in the game from... Is it? I think it's the guy in Scholo, the the blood guy. I forget his name. That turns into a bat. Uh, I think he drops a one percent hit belt as well, but I'm not hundred percent sure if it's him or not. Um, that's fine too. Uh, but yeah, if you get this one from from Ogre in the arena, then it's it's solid, decent stamina, and got some damage and healing, and then you got the hit as a really good bonus. Uh, you're gonna lose your mind if you're trying to like dispel barriers and stuff and keep getting resists. So. Hit is important. Then we got Necropile legs. There was a few different legs that we looked at that were decent. We got the Spirit Shrouds. We got the Sacred Cloths. Sacred Cloths are okay. I think Senior Designers are better. They got good healing on, but again, they 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 got way too much Spirit on for PvP, and they lose a little bit in the Stam in department. So I think Spirit Shrouds are better in that regard, but. If you look at the overall stats, again, there's a lot of spirit on there. And Necropile just has way less spirit and more stamina. And it's just a solid piece, especially when we consider the 15 all res set bonus. So, gone for those in the end. And again, Necropile boots. Necropile boots, I think, are just the best piece in foot slot in general. Really good stam in and then damage and healing as well. Just really well balanced. Postmasters are okay too, if you can get them. If you're not running the four-piece four piece Necropile, but... Yeah, definitely recommend these ones. Pretty easy to get if you're running Scholo for Alana's, as I said earlier. Then we've got Blood of the Martyr. is from a quest. Uh, you get something out of a box. Uh, I think it's in Archivist's room, but I'm not 100% sure. But it's when you do Strat, Strat Scarlet side, you get some shit item you can pick up out of this box. And then you take it to some dude at the start of Strat Undead side, and then he gives you a quest to kill Baron or something. And then you kill Baron and you get this ring and you're, you're chilling because it's fucking awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's that's Blood of the Martyr. Then Fordering Seal, that's from In Dreams. Your best PvE as well. So, sick ring, so much healing and stamina as well. Uh, you'll probably have this already. Um, if you don't, it's from the guy in Eastern Plaguelands. I uh, forget his name, Tyrion by the cave. And he, he gives you a, loads of quests to do and you got to kill loads of shit. And then you end up doing an escort out of Heartland. And it's super sketch if you get griefed. Uh, but once you get it, it's worth it. It's a sick ring. Make sure you choose the ring and not some other bullshit. And you've got Briarwood Reed from Jed in UBRS. This can be a bit annoying to get as everyone fucking wants it. It's the best for every single caster and healer. Um, and it's from a rare spawn. But most UBRS runs you're going to reset until you find... Uh, an ID with Jed in. If you target Jed immediately, you can find him from the entrance. If you run in straight away after reset, because he starts patrolling quite close. And then you got Second Wind, <coughs> which has some passive passive healing on it. Second Trinket slots just gets rotated a lot anywhere. You can have all your engineering trinkets here. Uh, if you're dispelling a lot, you can run Burst of Knowledge as well and pop that shit right as you about to spam dispel, and it basically halves the cost. And then obviously you've so fail. You've got all these. Uh, where is it? We'll get down there in the end. You've got all these NG trinkets as well that you can use for different things. Um, I've just put second win on there as as a standard because it's it's a decent solid pick. So that's that's pretty much my PvP bis list. Uh, if you have any comments or you are disagreeing with any of my points or items that I've chosen, please let me know. I'll be interested to hear kind of your, your alternative. Um, enchants are all basically just health. 
Health, all resists, all resist, health, health. Healing on the weapon. Personally, I wouldn't put healing on this. I would wait until I got something like Benediction. Um, man speed on gloves, nothing else. Legs, health, minus speed on boots is a must. Pretty simple. So yeah, that's 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 all I have to say on the matter, really, I think. Uh, I'm going to do a shadow one as well. And we're going to do an armor one as well, just for the memes. Thank you.